Have you ditched Airbnb and gone back to using hotels? Remember when Airbnb was new? Such a good idea. Such great value. Several years on, of course we all know the drawbacks now both for visitors and for cities themselves. What increasingly shocks are the prices often more expensive than hotels, plus you have to clean and tidy up after yourself at the end of your visit. Are you a formerly loyal Airbnb user who's recently gone back to preferring hotels, or is your preference for Airbnb here to stay? And if so, why? Hotels for solo, Airbnb for groups. There needs to be a market correction on Airbnb fees. I've switched to almost entirely hotels. I always clean up after myself anyway, but the idea of a chore list coming with that cleaning fee rubs me the wrong way. Yes. Never using Airbnb again after they didn't help us out of a terrible situation in Paris where we had no water for three days. No showering, no toilet, no washing hands or brushing teeth, etc. They didn't put us up in a hotel room or do anything at all. And hotels were very expensive for same day booking. Airbnb for longer stays only because of the kitchen, hotels generally for stays less than a week. Agree the quality has gone downhill and the fees border on ridiculous on some listings. Completely ditch tape. Had some mediocre experiences but a nightmare stay in Florence put me off using it for good. Airbnb was a short blip for me when they were convenient and provided good value. I've gone back to prior practice of finding local to my destination short-term vacation rental agencies and renting through them. Haven't used Airbnb since 2019. It's just too expensive now, hotels are more comfortable. Yep, even for longer stays I will stay at serviced executive apartments which all of the major chains now have. I had too many bad experiences with Airbnb that left me high and dry without a place to stay. The only way I would touch an Airbnb would be if they showed proof that Airbnb is 100 permitted and a signed agreement that if they cancel they will pay the difference in cost of what they were charging in the cost of a place in the same neighborhood with the same amenities. I used to be loyal to Airbnb. Until one day I had the nastiest review from a host, she complained about me not putting back the dishes to their place after washing them, I was a bit late and didn't want to check out after due time, since I didn't want to start the dishwasher over a few cups and dishes, I did it myself and left everything to dry on the counter over a cloth. Yeah, mind you I paid $150 for cleaning fees. Usually, yes the Airbnb prices are often not competitive, we've been burned by Airbnbs too many times, and there are the potential harms to communities though in specific cases it can still feel like a benefit to the community. We still use Airbnbs sometimes, especially when we need a kitchen and or laundry facilities, but a lot less often and more carefully than before. Used to use Airbnb a lot for getaways. Not anymore. My maid will clean my hotel for me for free and I have the added luxury of not having to risk hassles. Hotels. Only when trying to stay in groups or a place with very to little hotel options are Airbnb better. Yup, Airbnb did it briefly, with mixed results. Back to budget hotels, which are staffed 24 hours a day. Someone brings me fresh towels and makes my bed. I'm not taking an apartment out of the housing market. The building and business is inspected and licensed, and my money goes to the staff who turn around and spend it on the city I'm staying in. Yes. I got back from an eight day vacation and did not use any Airbnbs for my five lodging stays. The cleaning, etc. fees add up, and my last experience was less than ideal. Lol, a group of my friends book an Airbnb one time and one time only. Toronto, Canada. When we arrived the place was a complete fabrication to the photos. Me, being a true crime wannabe, said this looks and smells like an orgy pad, so I reversed the address and contact number. It was the house was all over escort forums. Not to mention we couldn't get in at first. It was occupied. Ew. Never again. Yes. 
After one really bad experience and dealing with Airbnb to try to get it fixed was such a nightmare I'm back to hotels. Plus I've learned more how bad Airbnbs are to the local community and I don't want to support that at all. Yeah, that's all we used for a while since it was cheaper. But not anymore, you clean up after yourself and have to pay to clean up after yourself. Hotels are all so cheaper now. The only time I check Airbnb app anymore is for places that don't have hotels near where I want to be skiing out of slopes, small beach towns without hotels, etc. I was traveling the world for work between 2012-2015. I remember when Airbnb hit the scene. It was pretty awesome. I would book apartments in the city for a fraction of a hotel. Venice, Rome, Sydney, Surfers Paradise, Prague, Washington DC, it was fucking awesome. Went to plan a vacation a year after my travel work concluded and found that Airbnb turned into a shell of what it was before. Oh, well. Credit card companies offer stellar reward programs now so I'm back to hotels full time. I'm done with Airbnb unless it's for a big group. No longer cheaper than hotels, seldom have a great experience, usually some unpleasant surprise. I quit Airbnb after a host left me a negative review for late checkout. We were staying on the side of a mountain, there was a snowstorm, and I waited approximately an hour for driving conditions to be safe. I informed them of all this at checkout time. Also, it's not like anyone came to clean while we were still there. They probably couldn't make it up the mountain. The absurd fees and excessive lists of rules for many of the Airbnbs are what turns me off. We've had a few decent stays for sure, but I don't even bother looking anymore. Last time I looked, I swear I saw a place that was around $300 a night, but after all fees and everything added up, it was over 1k. I thought maybe it was a mistake, but I've seen others with similarly huge fees. I don't get it. Hotels for the two of us unless it's for a long-term stay such as a month in a new area. Otherwise hotels is how we traveled up the west coast from LA to Portland. Looked at Edms but minimum nights, fees, taxes and the endless list of bullshit some of these places have now is just ridiculous. Last Airbnb we stayed in we messaged the host as we could barely cook dinner with what utensils were in the kitchen. Their response, oh well some things get broken over time. How exactly did they break your chopping board? I have noticed the cost becoming higher than hotels on many trips, but I still use it for some locations. It's mostly for convenience of location. Some places simply don't have hotels, and some places don't have budget hotels. Depends on the location. Airbnb is great for villas in Bali, but found it horrendous for rentals in Vietnam and now will exclusively stay in hotels for future Vietnam travels I live in Asia hence these two recent experience examples, but believe Europe is similar in terms of country variance. I quit Airbnb after some terrible experiences with their customer support. Now I use Vo or hotels. Airbnb can suck it. I always go through Airbnb and booking and compare results. But, for example, this summer, for 11 days in Rhodes in Greece Airbnb plane for the four of us and nothing fancy for Airbnb was the same price as plane four-star hotel on the beach with breakfast and dinner through travel agency. I was an Airbnb defender at the very beginning and convinced many people to try it. It saved me a lot of money in Europe and for concerts in the US, but no longer. Prices nearly everywhere are the same or more than hotels but with more inconveniences or fewer amenities. Used to be 80 Airbnb and 20 hotels for me, I am now 100 hotels. My city is being entirely taken by Airbnb and there are even some new buildings being built specifically for Airbnbs which I doubt is legal so I think people traveling in Latin America prefer Airbnbs over hotels. I've never heard or seen any Airbnb that asks you to clean though. WTF. I do think there should be an alternative to Airbnb since they're charging too much for cleaning fee and service fee. I don't know why they don't have any competition yet. I don't want to go on vacation and clean someone else's house. Fuck that.